Hey everyone, it's Natalie here back with another channel message for you guys on this lovely Tuesday. Hope everyone is doing well today. So we're going to tap into this energy, see what spirit needs you guys to know. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's going to be for all signs, but it's not going to resonate for all signs, okay? Um, yeah, so I appreciate everyone's support, your love, your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments, donations. All that doesn't go unnoticed. It's greatly appreciated. Send you guys a bunch of healing, all right, and love and light and abundance and all that other good stuff, all right, divine abundance, all right. So I've been channeling into this energy all day today. Someone here blames you for the reason why they can't make it in life, all right. Now, I'm picking up off of two different people. There's one person here who is the typical, you know... It's everybody else's fault. It's my mother's fault. It's my father's fault. It's my boss's fault. It's the white man's fault. It's my wife's fault. It's my ex's fault. Like everything is always everybody else's fault, but they're not looking at themselves. And I feel like there's a bunch of idiots around them too that gas them up and make it seem like, yeah, you're right. It's never you. It's always somebody else, especially if it's a man. Okay. Yeah. It's one of those type of men that like, uh, you know, like, like, they tend to gravitate people towards them that are always on their side, no matter what, at all times. Okay, this could be like some sort of a leader or someone that's supposed to be seen as a leader. But literally, it's like they're blaming everyone but themselves. They don't look at themselves at all. They don't put any sort of work into themselves, okay? Like I said, this could be one of those people that, you know, blame the government for everything. Oh, we're not supposed to make it. We're set up to, everything is set up so everybody could fail and... No one's helping me and, and like this person feels like the world is against them at all times, but they don't put any work into anything that they do. Like literally nothing that they do. Mm. Instead, they want to, they claim they want to quote unquote build with somebody, but they don't necessarily want to build. They want to energy harvest off of other people's energy. Because I feel like there's one specific person that they're fixated on. And if they truly wanted to build with someone, they can build with anyone, right? Not with this person. Um, they want to build with a, with a specific person, but instead of building with them, they attack them. All right. Um, it's a man child or something like that. So we have simply love here. Simply love. What else, Holy Spirit and Angels? For this reading. Some of you guys could be in the energy of like being a good parent or something like that. Something about a son is here. We got release. Shutting old skin, shedding old ways. All right, let me get one more. For this reading. Mm -mm. Success and growth. Okay. Choose your battles is here. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, someone here is not choosing their battles. Therefore, they're not able to successfully grow. There's another energy out here that's growing though. I'm also picking like if this is a woman, um, you could, you could like do the same thing that she does or work the same thing that she, you do the same thing that she does at work and she's blaming you, I guess, because something here is not moving forward for her. We have choose your battles, move, love, open up in the reverse, coming together in the reverse, finding balance in the reverse, and rebuild. I'm getting that like something here is a lesson for you guys. If you have children with somebody, you're being called to just be a parent. You're not being called to engage with this other person. Um... Also, I feel like you're letting someone out here call the shots. Yeah, challenging times is in the reverse. You're not having any challenging times here. You're letting someone here call the shots. So if it's if this one of those narcissists that say, you know, forget you, I'm leaving you, blah, blah, blah. You're like, all right, see ya. Get out of here, right? And it's not anything, like you don't feel any sort of negative energy um, when this person leaves. That's how you know this person is... Um, not supposed to be in your energy. Now, when you're doing something good, understand that you're always being watched. So anxiety can creep up on you when you are releasing yourself from codependent issues 
or codependent people. It's like they have this pull on you, right? But that's merely because you're being watched by, you know, um, you're being watched by the dark side. It's like the devil's popping up on your shoulder and saying, are you sure you want to do that? But it's really, yeah, you do want to do that because something here is triggering your success and growth. You'll see it. You'll start to see it um, as soon as you release someone's energy. We have conspiracy theory out here. There's a lot of people involved in this situation. Look up the defini definition of conspiracy. It talks about an injustice done to one person. A group of people doing an injustice to one person. Or it doesn't necessarily have to be one person, but a group of people conspiring together to do an injustice to people or one person, okay? I feel like that's what was going on here. We got private relationship out here. So you could have a you could be in a private relationship right now or people aren't able to tap into your relationship. Okay, so we have this is a setup. I'm picking up heavy narcissist energy. Um yeah, hidden haters you never met before in person. Okay. This is a setup in hidden haters you never met before in person. So there's people around you that you've never met, you've never seen them before, you don't know who they are. They are on this person's side. This is why your relationship is private. For some of you guys. Someone's trying to set something up to be private. I don't know. Okay, love letter, text, paragraph out here. Be careful of people coming into your life trying to set you up. Cursed family, a cursed family could be involved. Root chakra, trying to uproot you or something like that, or attack your or attack your security or something. Something about knowing who you are. There could be a Taurus involved. Something about stability is here. Oh, gang stalking almost came out. Wow. Let me get another one, please. So, are there people out here plotting to set you up with someone that's going to, I don't know, hurt you in some sort of way? We got karmic brother and your life is protected by God. I don't know what the heck the karmic brother got to do with anything. It could be a karmic young masculine. Might not be your brother, might not be anybody's brother, but I feel like spirit is trying to tell me this is a karmic young man out here. Because they're not an emperor or nothing. Spiritual tribe, reset, transform, pass down gifts. Yeah, there's some sort of uh, masculine energy that wants to see you fail. They got people around them trying to conspire against you. Um, uh, pay attention to like your texts and stuff like that. People are trying to send texts. It's a cursed family doing it. But you're protected. I don't feel like anything bad is going to happen in this situation. But just be careful. Someone might try to set something up. Someone who is losing control in one way, so they got to gain control in another aspect. This is someone out here that thinks that they're smarter than um, a high priestess. Or they may have, oh, thank you, Spirit. They may have a false high priestess helping them too. They may have a false high priestess helping them with their family. There's so many people against you, conspiring against you. And it has to do with love too. So if like you're a really lovable person, I'm picking up like Queen of Cups energy. They think that they can manipulate you through that. Yeah, Queen of Cups is in the reverse though. Um, be careful not to be um, in any sort of illusion. I feel like you're being set up. I really feel that way. What's this energy? We got the Six of Wands in the reverse. I'm hearing like someone is like embarrassed or they're losing attention or they're losing a victory or they're losing something out here redemption they try to redeem themselves they're trying to redeem themselves we got the knight of swords in reverse with the moon out here someone may have like mental issues too five of wands in reverse this conflict is not touching you these people are not touching you they cannot also something about your energy is very quiet okay People get afraid of quiet people. Me, I'm a Libra Sun, Cancer Moon. We are just originally quiet. Um, there's nothing that 
I mean, nothing catches our eyes unless it's, I don't know, like we mind our business. Like, I don't know if you guys have those aspects, but someone out here is being thrown off by your silence and it's causing them to act crazy. We have the um, hey man out here in the Six of Pentacles. Something here about money. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, and the Moon. Let's keep going. What else, please, Holy Spirit and Angels, for this reading? The Lovers in the reverse. I feel like you're okay with splitting up with somebody. Whoever you're splitting up with, it doesn't hurt you. It's not that big of a deal. Someone just wants someone to, like, um, they just want you to be in this energy of, like, codependency all the time. Yeah, the three. Yeah, it didn't hurt you. Three of swords in the reverse. Then we have the king of swords out here. Upright. And the star. You guys could be an Aquarius. I could be reading for Aquarius um, man. Um, but something here about breaking even. You're always the type to break even. I'm picking up Libra too. You break even. This does not satisfy somebody when you break even or when things are even between you and somebody else. So they're going to conspire against you. This is this is real weak. We have the death in the reverse. Okay. And the eight of cups. Someone is also like in limbo or they feel like they can't end you because things are delayed for them or something like that. And you're able to walk away. And then we have the six of cups in the reverse. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. Give me one more for the outcome. We got the higher fit in the reverse. This is definitely some sort of divorce. So someone is falling from grace for trying to conspire against you. That's what I'm getting here. And it's really giving me like uh, this person got to like... Take it to the take it on the chin or like they gotta like they gotta like toughen up in this energy because it's like you're not you're not um doing anything unfair right now. But this person is trying to make it seem like you're this person got a lot of people to hate you. But you're not doing anything unfair, you're not doing anything that's spiteful or anything like that. You're just healing or something like that. Clarify the uh six of wands in reverse. The lovers in the reverse. This deck has two lovers cards and they're both in the reverse. So yeah, definitely a breakup. Okay, it was a karmic relationship. We have the emperor and the queen of pentacles out here. Okay, um, I feel like you guys are your own emperor, your own queen of pentacles. You guys gain a lot of control over your finances as soon as you separated from someone. Or if you haven't separated from them, you will gain control of your finances. Meanwhile, this person is falling from grace trying to get your attention. Someone seems blocked from you. Yeah, we have the uh, star card out here and the knight of cups, Aquarius energy with Scorpio and the emperor. You may have a new person coming in. You have someone here trying to get your attention. They're not getting it. There's an emperor out here somewhere. Clarify the um, hangman. I'm also getting like you're free. Clarify for the hangman. Six of swords. Yeah, you're moving away. Someone might get arrested too is also what I heard. So that you could be free and move on from them. We have the ace of pentacles and the six of swords out here. You're getting a new opportunity. You're moving on to calmer waters. Okay, four of swords in the reverse. Someone here is like, they cannot take this. Four of Cups, Page of Swords in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse. Them and their cursed family is, is running around talking a bunch of crap about you. Um, they'll be okay. That's not the issue. I'm focused on what's going to happen after. All right. I feel like you guys are really happy. With the Simply Love card, it really tells me a lot. It's just you and this child or it's just you and whatever you got going on out here. Um, there's no couple out here. I feel like you guys are single for sure. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Why is this person stressed out that you're in the Six of Pentacles? I don't understand this. I don't get this. I'm picking up Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, they're pretty stubborn. They don't like to break even themselves sometimes. 
Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Fool in reverse. Someone maybe recklessly ruined their money or they only want to come towards you because you may have money or something like that. It's not working for them. I'm also getting like ancestors are blocking this person off from whatever you got going on. Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse now. Okay, so we have this Queen of Wands in reverse. Also, you may be getting an offer from someone and it's making someone jealous. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Like, honestly. I'm about to clarify something. Clarify private relationship. Clarify private relationship. I'm getting something about an undercover or something. Something here is like undercover or someone is undercover. Chakras aligned, Aries, and then we have yoga, stretching your body. I don't know what spirit is trying to say about that. I feel like you guys are single. I don't feel like you're in a relationship. I feel like people think that you're in a relationship or they're trying to figure out your relationship between you and a specific masculine because there's an emperor out here. Um, this queen of wands is trying to tap. Thank you, spirit. She's trying to tap into something that you have going on with someone else. This is their job. This is what they do. Okay. But when things break even and when things are, when you're in generous energy, they can't tap into that because it's someone here likes drama. And when they can't tap into any drama, it's like, it kind of throws them off and they start stressing out. I don't know why this uh, queen of wands energy is attract. Someone here is attracted to your masculine. Your masculine might not even know this person. Clarify the lovers in the reverse. Okay, so we have the 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Something here, not long-term, not committed. Someone here is like losing a lot as soon as someone splits up with somebody. Yeah, the page of swords. It's like, I don't know why this person is watching you, but it's like they feel like if they're losing everything in their life, then you got to lose everything in your life too. I feel like someone is keeping tabs on you after you broke up with them or after you broke up with a person. This could be someone out here that like, um, it could be a third party. I'm not seeing any threes. Well, besides the three of swords in reverse. Yes. Okay. Thank you, spirit. They, there's a third party out here watching you and stressed out because you're not stressed out about your person breaking up with you. It's like this queen of wands energy wants you more than the masculine. Clarify the three of swords in the reverse because you're healed. You're not worried about this person. Yeah, the five of pentacles in the reverse. You guys could have came into some sort of money too. You're not out in the cold. Like, you're comfortable. Like, what? Yeah, the devil in the reverse. You're like, you can have that toxic person. I'm free from any toxicity. They also want you guys to, like, be in the energy of, like, being irritated or something like that. Something here about kids, too. Someone here, ooh, someone here is sending energy to your kids, but it's bad energy. They want you to be irritated with your kids, which, you know... I guess that's a good tactic because kids can somebody be, sometimes be annoying, but that's not going to, I feel like someone here has grown, okay? <laughs> Six of cups in the verse. Someone here wants you to mistreat your kids or something so that they will look good or something like that. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They also feel like, uh, here's the real scoop. Here's the real story. Someone here really wants you to feel irritated because someone here is not with you. But that's not the truth at all. You feel peaceful because someone is not with you. You feel free. You feel like you have space to work. You have space to think. Maybe in the past you were kind of codependent on someone's energy, but you're not. Someone else is codependent on this masculine's energy and they're trying to flip it on you. I feel like you don't want this masculine. Or if you're a masculine, you don't want this feminine at all. And they're also trying to like set you guys up. I'm trying to set you up or something like that. People you've never even met. Why don't they just ask you, hey, don't, do you care about this masculine? <laughs> they probably wouldn't believe you, but it, it would be the truth. At least it would come out of your mouth. The truth is this masculine or whoever that you were attached to is losing everything. Not you. 
you're actually gaining more with the breakup. Let's clarify the uh, King of Swords. Your chakras are aligned. Let's clarify the King of Swords. People are just all up in your business right now, so it's kind of throwing the energy off. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Five of Cups in the reverse, and the Five of Swords. Someone here needs to accept the fact that they didn't put... Someone here needs to just walk away from a relationship. Yeah, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> Something... Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Something here is just not working. You're too smart. You're smarter than all these people. Maybe you're smarter than these people at work. You could be smarter at than these people in your family or something. Uh, someone really try to gang a bunch of people on you to conspire against you. And it's not working. Ace of Cups in reverse. Something here is unrequited. Knight of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. The Fool in reverse. Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords in reverse. Wow. I'm also getting like a transfer of energy to where like someone tried to put you in jail. Now they're in jail. That's honestly what they get. This King of Swords is very smart. Uh, someone here is sticking to the truth about, they're sticking to the facts. And the facts are that these people, this collaboration, they, they work together and they drink together. They mix business with pleasure. They do everything together, but for some reason they can't take you down together. So, And I feel like in a sense, whoever you're breaking up with or whoever you're not in a relationship with or whoever this masculine is, in a sense, they're kind of accepting this, but they're creating a bunch of haters behind the scenes. These people that they talk bad to you about still hate you, but you're protected though. You don't have anything to worry about, but at the same time, it's like, wow, dude, like you really did all that, but this person needs to accept something. Uh, clarify the death card here in the reverse. Yeah. The fool in the reverse. I'm hearing caution. They're, it's too risky to try to end something for you. This is why they're not ending it. Three of Wands, the Tower, and the Seven of Pentacles of the High Priestess. I'm hearing you got eyes on the back of your head. It'll, it's too hard. Clarify the fool in the reverse. It's too hard. Ten of, sword, ten of Wands in reverse. It's too hard to try to end you. Even with your back turn is what I just heard. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things still turn in your favor. They can't, every time they do something to you, things turn in your favor and it becomes burdens for them. You always are looking towards the positive. You're looking at the positive of everything. Tower. I'm also getting like you're expecting someone's tower. You're expecting a tower to hit somebody so you're not in the energy of fighting anyone or you know trying to plead your case like you don't care it's it's nothing Let's clarify the uh eight of cups uh the, the uh chariot out here with judgment um chariot judgment why the chariot in the reverse Page of Cups in the reverse, Five of Swords. Yeah, so you're going to just walk away. You're not going to say anything. You're not going to fight for this relationship. You're not going to do... Yeah, someone here is like really... They hate the fact... They see you as someone unfaithful and, and fickle and things like that because you're in the Eight of Cups and you're always walking away from things that no longer serve you. That doesn't make you fickle. That doesn't make you unloyal. It means you're walking away from something that no longer serves you. You're walking away from this devil energy. You're walking away from pain. You're walking away from hurt. You're walking away from competition. You're walking away from everything that's low vibrational in this energy. You're walking away from people. Oh, you think you're better than us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they, they really feel like you think that you are doing something out here with the two of wands out here. It's because you have plans. What are these people with problem? It's like they don't even want the masculine anymore. They just want to hate you. It's like you give the, you give this person away. You give this person away and whoever has this person is still worried about you. 
Clarify the Six of Cups in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. Something here about children came out. Everything is exposed. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, no more illusions about the past. There's something here about the past. I'm also getting like people, I feel like people are like, um, they might not like you, but at the same time, they know who this masculine is. They're like, okay, well, you were never caring in the first place. Why would she come back to you? It's like, give me that type of energy. Because there's no more illusions. There was some sort of magic put over you in the past or when you were a child. If this is not a relationship, this could be like someone in your family. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it was unrequited. It has always been unrequited. It has always been unequally yoked. And I feel like in a in the past life or in the past tense, you were sort of trying to get this person on your level with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords. They couldn't. They didn't want to be. They're a karmic masculine. So this karmic masculine got a bunch of people fighting his battles for him. Instead of just accepting the fact. See, this person wants to move on. This person wants to move on to a new lover too. But they will never move on until you're completely destroyed. That's how I feel. This person has a lack of like rules. Like They feel like they don't, they don't have to follow rules or something. This person is truly jealous of you. But at the same time, I, I sense them coming back and like sending you love letters too. Like, or texting you or something. Clarify the Hierophant in the reverse. Two of Wands. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Give me another one for that. Yeah, this person had absolutely nothing to offer. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse too. Someone here who's very unloyal if this is a female energy. Unfaithful, unloyal. The sun in the reverse. Give me one more. Because I'm getting something with this. Justice in the reverse. Did an injustice to you. Maybe saying that you weren't a faithful person. Or something like that. I feel like victory is yours. It was an injustice to even say that. Or whatever. Everything came out. Everything came out. I want to clarify this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse again. Who is this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Five of Wands in the reverse. Someone that can't mess with you. They can't. They can't be all up in your energy. Yeah, someone here is trying to be like outside your home with the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, Queen of Cups. So you guys are outside of an innocent person's home. Give it up or knock on the door. Or give it up. Temperance in the reverse with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. A bunch of dumb, a bunch of dumb people with dumb ideas is all I see. I'm also getting like if you are in a relationship out here, you guys are being called to keep it private. Okay, you guys could have a relationship with an Aries or you could be an Aries. Everything is aligned for you. I don't know what's wrong with these people out here. But you're releasing things and people don't want you to release them because it's going to make them look stupid when they move on to their next. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's narcissists out here who will hold on to the ex because simply because they don't want them to move forward and find someone better than them. That's it and that's all. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, this person needs me or this person is controlling. Ain't no, ain't, there's no women out here controlling men. There's no women out here controlling true emperors. Stop that. Stop that. I can't stand when I hear that. Like, you got to be kidding me. So you mean to tell me that a, a woman is controlling someone that's grown? I don't care if there's kids involved. I don't. I don't care if there's kids involved. No woman is controlling a masculine. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, she won't let me move on, blah, blah, blah. That's a lie. 
We have keeping up immense effort in advance. Yeah, to be honest with you, this person has to keep up with your energy. They can't even be happy around you. And they blame, they, they claim it's because you're doing something to them. But no, it's because they got to keep up with you. How can you be happy around someone you got always got to find yourself trying to keep up with? Use your time well. Make every moment count. This person's probably sitting on the video game right now. And we all got the same 24 hours in a day. All of these people. We all got the same 24 hours in a day. There's no excuse. This person needs to find a job. We have I want to be queen. Uh, stating your sovereignty. Declaring freedom and passing a test. You guys passed the test. You guys are already queen. Um, someone out here try to like take your spot. They cannot take your spot. Look. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. This person lets anger control everything in their life. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. See, it's like this person could get angry all they want, but they cannot attack you. They, they don't know what the heck they're... They don't even know what they're doing with their own lives, guys. Either this is you or this is that person. I promise you. They could conspire. They could put the whole world up against you and they're not going to win because they're not meant to win. They're not meant to win. Not when, not when God's on your side. And if you need confirmation about that, go open your Bible to the wars that were um, fought in the Bible when there was less, when there was less people on the divine side and more people on the evil side. There is no strength in numbers. Not when it's against God. So these people really try to gang up or whatever. I'm tired of seeing this gang up energy because ain't nobody knocking on my door. Is people far, far away or they're at a distance or they like to drive by or, but no one's knocking on my door except for the DoorDash. These people are not foolish. They know better. Astrology, study the stars, partying, drugs and alcohol. Something here about astrology is here. Or you guys could be an astrologist. You guys study the stars. You guys just know better. Adulthood, parenthood. This may have to do with your guys' parenthood. Let go of expectations. Astrology, study the stars. Partying, drugs, and alcohol. They got the same 24 hours as you. And they want to blame everybody but themselves. And this is what they do. This is probably what they spend their money on. Out of the country? Hold on. <laughs> they may have hired a practitioner out of the country or... This person is at a, di a very far distance from you trying to attack you. <sighs> New job promotion is here. Eucalyptus is here. Political matters. Empathy and compassion is here. Immaturity, still a child. See what I mean? Karmic brother came out again. This is somebody's brother. Protect your money. And then we have ancient knowledge. So someone is trying to uh, get to your money or something like that. They also want to know what you know or something. We have manifest 333. It's ancient knowledge on how to manifest. Yeah, it's an agent for the devil though. They're not supposed to be knowing these things. Use your voice. Stay out of the way, ancestors. So use your voice and then move out the way because the answers are going to take care of somebody for you. Hold your position. See what I mean? You're not going anywhere. Bullying and projection, envy and greed. Just sit still. Just sit still. You don't got to say nothing. Divine, di divine guidance is here. Astral travel. Watch your dreams. So they could be playing around with your dreams. Doctor, physical health, stirring the pot. There could be some sort of practitioner out here stirring the pot. Talk of the town, psychology. Someone is trying to say that you're like a psycho or something. Guilty conscience. It's really them. Tower moment, epiphany, spirit bath cleansing, spirit bath, spiritual bath cleansing. Someone here doesn't belong here. Whoever's doing all the cyberbullying, they need to move. They need to move all the way around. They need to move around. Mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> hmm. Look, public relationship, be cautious. So if you do have a public relationship, just be cautious. But I feel like also these people need to watch out. They should be scared. These are the type of people that like to pick on um, 
either people smaller than them or people that are quiet. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is your reading um, for today. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.